Indiana is facing a critical shortage of lawyers, and a new proposal is aiming to help close that gap. Purdue University is asking the Indiana Supreme Court to consider allowing students at their law school to sit for the bar exam with the goal of then serving their community. WHS 1119's Bobby McSwine sat down with the Clark County, Indiana prosecutor to talk about this. And Bobby, what do you say? Why is this significant? Well, according to the American Bar Association, in 2020, multiple Indiana counties had less than 10 attorneys. The Concord Law School at Purdue University Global is not American Bar Associated accredited, which means even after graduates receive their JD, they can't sit down for the Indiana bar exam. The online law school says this barrier to, to entry is part of the reason for the shortage. Years ago, I used to hear a lot of people say there's too many attorneys, there's too many lawyers. Clark County, Indiana prosecutor Jeremy Mole says that's nowhere near the case now. He says the public sector is getting hit the hardest from the public defenders to his own office. All of us are having a difficult time uh, recruiting attorneys because there are simply less of them in the job market right now. So he's glad to see a possible solution. The Concord Law School at Purdue University Global is attempting to change Indiana's rules for admission to the bar. Right now, only American Bar Association accredited law school graduates can sit for the Indiana exam. The Concord Law School isn't ABA accredited, but they want their students to be eligible. And it may result in us being able to fill these jobs uh, with people who, who have a heart and a passion for doing that. Carl Price, a practicing attorney in Louisville and former assistant county attorney, agrees. But he also hopes the students this would help pay it back to communities in Indiana seeing the shortage. Will there ever be any requirements to direct those lawyers, appoint those lawyers in areas where lawyers are really, really needed. Price also raising concerns about the lack of in-person practice because Concord Law School is online. He says a one to two year hands-on internship requirement would help. Experience matters, hands-on experience matters. So what's the bottom line with fewer attorneys practicing? This is the sort of business that if you're short manpower, you do the work anyway. And the, the result of that is it's just a large amount of burnout from the people doing it. Concord Law School says this proposal is not meant to interfere with Indiana's three existing law schools. In studio, Bobby McSwine, the WHAS 1119, on your side.